There's a voice that cries out in the silence. Somebody say, don't miss the move. Now, the whole text is about water moving. Yes. If you read John 5, Apostle, did the water ever move in this text? No. Mm -mm. Mm, you would say no, right? But Jesus was that living water. Yes. And anytime you pour water, it's going to find its lowest place. Yes, it is. Yeah, I catch yes, it is. So if I got a little water on my head, it's going to drip down until it goes down and finds the lowest place. By the time it finds the lowest place, it'll start to settle. Come on, come on. Come on. It was five porches. Descending in height. Come on. Jesus was the living water, and the water was flowing. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. But you know what? Impotent folk didn't get it. They remained powerless. Come on, come on. Blind folk didn't get the move. They remained blind. Come on. folk didn't get it. They still stuck. Withered folk didn't get it. They still withered. But this man that has been waiting 38 years, and I tell you what, I know the angel comes at a certain season, but I got enough faith to believe God that anything is possible. And I'm trying to find out is anybody in here? Know that anything is possible. You gotta understand that the living water was flowing till it found its lowest place. The lowest you can get to the ground is to lay down. Yes, the man. Yes. yes, the man was laying beside the pool of Bethesda. He was at his lowest place. I'm talking to some people that are at their lowest place. Amen. Now the water begins to gather itself as it conversates. Because if water keeps pouring, it will become a body of water. Amen. Oh, Amen. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So, so what am I saying? Now, I release into this house a sudden grace. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Y'all didn't hear me. I said a sudden grace. I said a sudden grace. That means and suddenly. Come on, come on. And suddenly you're healed. And suddenly you're delivered. And suddenly you're set free. And suddenly you're walking with a both feet. And suddenly you got vision. And suddenly you got power. And suddenly you got finances. And suddenly you got glory. And suddenly. Uh, can I get a witness right there about my suddenly? in a service and then walk out and smoke a Newport, you are not his prophet. I am his prophet because what I said was correct. It could have been correct, but the spirit that's on you while you're smoking goes with the prophecy. And so if you will. Wow. 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 And so you release 
another spirit on them that they can't handle. Wow. Your glory is not good. Know that a little leaven leaven is a whole lot. I got one last scripture and I'm done. Ooh, I'm gonna be here all week. That's the word. <laughs> Yeah, okay, if I ain't doing nothing, I'm gonna be here. I'm after some stuff here. Oh, yeah, I'm after some stuff here. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one, one, one day I'm gonna show y'all how to, how to give. I know you're right. Y'all get more to McDonald's than you're good. Come on, come on. Come on. I'm, I'm trying to hold back on this last scripture because this is the scripture that got glory dripping on me. Uh -huh. Come on. <laughs> And it's gonna come by the touch. Come on now. Come on, come okay. on. Okay. So, so the first grace was what? A grace for power. The second grace was what? Vision. Third? Release. 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 The fourth? Restoration. Restoration. And the fifth grace was? Uh, this is your fifth church anniversary. And God releases in this house all five graces. Amen. As I read this scripture, this is what the Lord told me to release into this house. Record this, because I'm going to throw it up, and I expect the manifestation. Because I believe a true prophet should always challenge themselves. If you prophesy to somebody, say, while I'm prophesying to you under the anointing, if I'm lying, say I'm lying. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Or write it down. And when I come back through here, if it didn't come to pass, bring it and put it in my face. And I'm sorry, I can't receive no more prophecy from you. Your first one didn't come to pass. Yes. 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 You don't like me. <laughs> Y'all don't like me. That's why all you all y'all prophesy, y'all ain't gonna prophesy to me at the end of the service. I'm telling you right now, don't put no hands on me. You ain't Apostle Hitler, you ain't Pastor Scott, don't say nothing to me. You ain't that Apostle right there or that pastor back there, don't say nothing to me. Except God bless you, God bless you too. Watch out, man. We're in a dangerous hour. Amen. In the body of Christ. And I'm telling you that we really got to start guarding our anointing. I don't know how to get on. We ain't guarding our anointing. We just doing anything we want with our anointing. Come on, come on, come on. Your anointing ought to mean something to you. Yes. Because your anointing can cover your children when you can't cover them. Okay, I'm going to read this last, last, last scripture, and this is the glory that's on me. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11, the Bible says, listen children, as quietly as you can, the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as you are and bless you as he has promised you. I release the anointing of a thousand times more. Now somebody understood how, how did I say the anointing was going to come? Five, nine, ten. But now how did I say, I said this anointing is going to come by a... Touch. Mm -hmm. yes. So all you got your hands up and ain't touched my hand, I'm sorry to tell you, you ain't getting jacked. <laughs> don't be greedy, come on, don't be greedy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, get it, 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 come on, get it
Now God, I give you glory. I give you honor. I release into these hands, God. Be anointed for a thousand times more. I release, Father God, be anointed for a thousand. Touch somebody that's touching me. Come on, come on, just come on in. We release the anointing for a thousand times more. We release the anointing right now upon every person in this house. Father God, for a thousand times more. We release the blessing of the Lord. And we command in the name of Jesus. Father God, that this anointing begin to slay this house. Let the glory of the Lord rise in this house right now. Prove yourself, oh God. Show them how mighty you really are. Take three steps forward. Who's who's our armor bearers? Who's our armor bearers? Don't, you took one. That's one. Uh huh. You are gone, aren't you? You're an inch too bad. Now I got something for you. And you, uh, and, and you, you. Yes, you. Praise the answer. You, you. Get behind him. Uh, take one more step. Uh -huh. Uh, take one more step. It, it got it. Oh, there you go. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And this next step, you step. God says you stepped into glory. Uh -huh. Surrender yourself now, man of God, because that's who you are. You are a man of God. You're not a man of the street. You ain't no thug. You ain't no dealer. You ain't no banger. You ain't no baller. You are a chosen man, child of the Father. Lift up your hands and clap the back. Turn your guns into the apostles. Bang, bang. This is my gang sign right here. I'm a man child. I throw up the cross. I'm a man child. I am a man child. Yes. When you ride, 
Yeah. You already know what it is, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, two more minutes and I get up off of it. I promise I get up off of it. Thank you, Pastor. Uh, so That's a tough one. That's a tough one. I'm going to tell you why I don't take all night. Because you can't show me nowhere in the Bible where Jesus took all night. Uh-oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Anybody that takes all night, the anointing really ain't that strong. Uh-oh. 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 Woo! Ha-ha-ha. I should call you. I don't love it. Every man in the house say, man up. Man up. <laughs> Just like he's a soldier in the army. I used to be in the army. That's why I know about it. You a soldier in God's army. And tonight you get your rank. Closet, pray to the Father in secret and he rewards you openly. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. 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 Prayer brings power. Say that. Prayer brings power. Every, spiritual Every spiritual principle has a natural, natural parallel. Natural yes. parallel. Yes. Yes. Clark Kent uh -huh. would go into his closet. <laughs> By the time he came out, Superman was <laughs> able to do whatever he needed to do. <laughs> Every spiritual principle has a natural parallel. Peter Parker would be a news boy, but let him get into his closet. Spider-Man, where are you coming from? You gotta hear what I'm saying. There's a power on him now. Same person, different power. You ain't gonna say that next to me. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. TCC. Y'all don't understand the power of prayer in the closet, but this is the last example I'm going to give you. And I'm going to show you that this is the real power. This is for the, the saints that, you know, that, 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 that watch this. You, this is for people when, when, that you're old enough to know that when it became 12 o'clock at night, stop the music for a second, when it became 12 o'clock at night, you were watching TV, and as soon as it became midnight, the first thing you heard was, Oh, say, can you see? Saw the flag waving the other one. Yeah, yeah. Wait no 24 hour TV, yo. This is for them kind of folk. There was one other person, my God, had a girlfriend. Uh, uh -huh. Name was Polly Purebred. Come on. Stepped <laughs> into his closet. Uh, spent a little time to change up. Uh, but when he came out, he was underdog. There's a voice crying.